Good morning, this is NWBC, your Seniors Community Broadcasting Club. Thanks to Northwood Care Incorporated. Your host this morning, Bob Marks, with my Down Memory Lane program. It's time to have a little bit of a request in here. So Bernice of Summerside and the selection from 1942. <laughs> It's a long story, uh, but, but it's, uh, it certainly touched my heart, uh, this lady. I, I, I tell you, I was almost crying myself, so I mean, it was a very touching moment for me. It's by chance I was listening uh, to CHNS Radio open mic uh, talk show, and I was touched uh, by this 71-year-old lady who was crying her heart out. She was really hurting. And she was talking about how she was being separated from her husband. She had to go into an old lady's home, and he had to go into an old men's home. It was time that something was done, and I just uh, was committed to that. Uh, we launched Northwood Towers in 1966. The Northwood Manor was 69, and the and Northwood Center in 1976. That's just 50 years ago. You fast forward that today, uh, it's quite amazing. <laughs> the biggest comment I hear from people who step into Northwood for the first time is, I had no idea. Um, I expected things to be quiet. I expected people sort of the lined up in the hallways. None of that happens. There's, there's <laughs> laughter, there's noise, there's music. Um, it's a hub of activity, like any community. This is our annual garden party and patio party. One of the days that people look forward to uh, for months. The enjoyment of coming out, participating, having fun. I've learned that the key to a happy life, it's how you approach life. I guess that's the greatest lesson I've learned from the people here. The last four years of this event, uh, we have a plastic gun that shoots uh, foam bullets, and the residents just love that. I don't know why. Sometimes I'm wrong. <laughs> Forget the target. I've totally fallen in love with this place. So at the end of the day, we leave feeling good about ourselves, good about the day, uh, good about contributing to something special that happened here. When I first started just as a new grad, I had to learn it's a long way to Tipperary and, you know, show me the way to go home. But now we listen to more rock and roll and when we're doing sing-alongs, we've got Elvis and Happy Days and um, it's changing. I think the adult day program means for participants, I think friends are number one. It's making friends, it's being safe and secure, and that you're in a place where you're building self-esteem. In our adult day program, we have a philosophy called failure-free programming. We need to have people succeed, so it's right down to the dinner table. We make sure that only the utensils for the first course is there. It could be in our garden. Uh, we have a courtyard where we make sure that all the plants that are in the garden are safe, but if you have the people, the right people, you don't need fancy buildings and you don't need equipment. You know, Northwood started in the middle of Halifax, and now it reaches over the whole province. We have In Touch that reaches the whole province. Home care is all over the place. We want to be where people are, because that's what we are. We're all people, and we're caring for other people, so that's what we try and do. Good morning, Pauline. Ah, it's Marlene. How are you? How are you? I'm just great. Listen, I heard you had a fall last week. Yeah. What happened? I went to get a... She calls us her angels. Why am I involved with Tyler Care? Because I love it. It's very rewarding because some people you call, it's the only call they get that day. And by the time you get off the phone, you know, you put a smile on their face and that makes you feel good. So. That's our reward. Each and every one of the callers 
are angels. You know somebody's looking in on you. Uh, they call you in the morning and find out how you are. And if you're not well, they'll call somebody to come and see you. More or less seniors looking after seniors. <laughs> I mean, we have suggested, like, for someone who has fallen, maybe you should have in touch. Because with in touch, you just press that button and somebody's right there. Pleased to meet you. I'm here to install your in touch unit. Good. Well, I'm pretty independent and I don't have any family around here. I suddenly realize I just better not be taking any more chances. Push the button if I fall. And that's knowing that I can get help a lot quicker than I had before. I'm starting to feel like a hockey player here being interviewed. <laughs> <laughs> a daughter came in and she started to fill up and she said, Mom, I just forgot what it looked like to see her smile. I forgot. I just hadn't seen that in three years. Like, I, I, I forgot what that looked like. And, you know, and I guess that's why we do it. It's not just a phone call. It's reaching out and touching somebody, being there if they need you. The change, I mean, there's a wonderful world of the elderly out there today. Not like it was 50 years ago. You learn that life doesn't stop when you turn 65. We live for the moment. We're here just for the moment. Northwood's a family. <laughs> yeah, it is. We've just been blessed with great people. People have a voice and we're listening. Nothing compares to this. The first place we're going to recommend is Northwood because we know they'll be well looked after. People don't come here to die, they come here to live.